Jazz was huge in the 1920s, so it's only fitting it's making a comeback in the 2020s. Uh, Courtney <laughs> is standing by with Grammy award-winning jazz musician and inspiration, Melanie Charles. Ladies and gentlemen, the gorgeous Melanie Charles, multi-talented Melanie Charles, glowing skin Melanie Charles. Good morning, darling. Courtney, how are you doing? Doing fantastic. I'm so glad to talk to you this morning because I really want to talk about uh, jazz making its way back into the mainstream spotlight because jazz has, I mean, so much of American music has its roots in jazz music. The truth of the matter is, Courtney, is that all music really has its roots mm. from the black tradition. It starts from the Negro spirituals to the folk songs, to the R&B, to the jazz, to the to to drill, to rock. All yeah. of this is of the black American tradition. And jazz is really like the grandfather of all the music that we love. So it only makes sense for it to slowly start becoming the thing that is popular. And that's really my dream of one day it being the sound that you hear, the music that you hear in the clubs and people yeah. are dancing to. Oh, I love that idea. I love that idea. We saw on Sunday night uh, at the Grammys when Samara Joy uh, won a Grammy for, for her jazz music. Um, but you, my dear, also connected with a jazz, uh, with a uh, Grammy winning jazz product uh, pro uh, production, I should say. Tell us about that. Yes. Yes, Terry Lynn Car Carrington, who is one of the biggest, most important drummers alive today. She is such a mentor and a lover of the next generation. And she brought me in and she said, Melanie, I would like you to sing on this arrangement of Throw It Away, oh. which is an Abby Lincoln song. And I did the best that I could do. And I'm really honored that that album won a Grammy and I'm proud to be involved. You did the best that you could do. That is so humble. <laughs> it is so amazing. It is so amazing. Listen, this jazz career, this, this jazz life will really humble you. It's not yeah. for the at of heart. So yeah, I believe I that. Can, first, can we just give a shout out to your setup right here? Is this where you record music? Do you record any music here? Yes, this I do. So cool. I record, I arrange music, I produce yeah. sounds in this space. I got my little Casio keyboard. I'm very old school. I have my SP202 and 404 samplers. This is where a lot of the magic happens. Oh, this is so cool. I love seeing this. Okay, I want to play um, some video. Uh, this is a, a, a um, performance you did on NPR. And what I love about this is not only do you have a beautiful voice, but you're multi-talented. You play the flute, you play different instruments. As you mentioned, you create some of your own sounds and beats and such. Tell us about all that. You know, being born and raised in Brooklyn and having a mother that is a Haitian immigrant, mm. I am just a product of all of the different sounds and colors and energies that you find in Brooklyn, New York, from hearing my grandma play folk singing gospel, Haitian gospel yeah. music, to hearing bachata in the corner store. And in order for me to create in an honest way, the only way that I can do it is by incorporating all of those things that create who I am. I just think it's beautiful. I also love that you have a podcast, Make Jazz Trill Again. Yes. <laughs> I love the title. <laughs> Tell Thank us about so that. Much. Well, shout out to my co-host, Uni Mojica, and my producer, Dara Golub. They're, these are my friends, my homegirls. We all love jazz, and we wanted to create a space where people who love jazz, who are jazz adjacent, can have real casual conversation. We've had guests like Christian McBride, India Owens. Yeah. Probably next we'll have Terry Lynn Carrington. Love it. It's available everywhere podcasts are, so please, everyone, check it out. Melanie, you are an absolute treat. We are going to link all the details uh, so that you can follow her on uh, Instagram uh, to our website, gooddaysacramento.com, under show info and today's date. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you for letting us take a little peek behind the scenes of your creative space. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Courtney. All right, and congratulations on that Grammy win as well. All right, Cody, back over to you. That is really cool She's that we get to see your space. I, I like that a lot.